Think of a happy place. All right, breathe. I'm thinking right now, white sandy beaches, crystal clear blue water, umbrella drinks. They don't have to be frozen, just cold. What's up everybody? Welcome to your on-demand workout for today. Before we get started, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We're getting this thing going. We have one minute of cardio and then we're going to a 30 second running clock. And that 30 second running clock is gonna consist of two handed swings and goblet squats for three rounds. As soon as we finish that, we're gonna hit the floor for some ab work. We're gonna do sprinter sit-ups for the remainder minute of our uh, warm up. okay? So after that minute of cardio, you're gonna grab your belt so make sure you have it available to you. From here, you go two-handed swings, and then move right into goblet squats. So pull it up nice and tight, and then squat down and stand tall, all right? So, without further ado, let's get this thing going. One minute of cardio of your choice. Let's get started, seven seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. I was gonna use the bike, didn't you? It's the last thing I want to use today is that cement mixer. Ah! All right, 30 seconds here. Stop what you're doing, let's grab that bell. We're going for two-handed swings in two, one, let's go. Snap those hips, stand up tall. Remember, this is just our warm-up. Don't expect you to have your heaviest bell in your hands. Three, two, one, right up, squats, come on. Five more seconds, going back to the swings. The booty burn. Two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, pull it up, hold it tight. Squat down, stand tall. Three. Two, one, back to the swings, last set. Three, two, one, pull it up, let's go.
three, two, one, on your back, sprinter sit-ups, last 60 seconds here, come on, switch opposite sides, if this is an issue, go to bicycle crunches, seconds to go. As if your booty wasn't burning enough. Whew. I'm gonna get this mat out of the way. I don't need it right now. Let me adjust this clock. All right, next up, we have a 12 minute EMOM. Every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. We're gonna start with eight burpee deadlifts, or eight deadlift burpees, or eight thrust squats, or squat thrusts, you, you guys get to do, all right? From there, we're gonna go into our second minute, eight high pulls left, eight high pulls uh, right. You guys can scale up as we go along. Let's just start with these numbers, okay? And modify as necessary as we go along. So that eight deadlift burpees, we're gonna here gonna start with that deadlift. Place a bell in between your feet. You guys can use a heavy bell for this one or a light bell. I'm just gonna use my standard size bell for everything today. Hips go back, grab that handle, stand up tall, bell down, hands down, jump back, jump in, handle, stand, down, hands down, back, in, okay? That's your burpee deadlift or burpee squat thrust, whatever you guys wanna call it. From there, we go into our second minute, which is gonna be high pulls left, high pulls right. Single arm here, grab that bell, like behind the groin, snap your hips, float. Okay, eight left, eight right. Whatever's left over in the minute is gonna be a rest. Again, let's get through the first round, and then we can scale from there. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Burby deadlifts, eight reps. In two, one, let's go. Oops. Guys, be in a safe deadlifting position before you lift that bell. Chest is tall and proud, hips are back. Now it's uh, 20 seconds remains, plenty of time. We're gonna go into minute number two. We have those high pulls. Left side to start. In three, two, one, high pull. My pace, 25 seconds is left in this minute. High pulls get your heart rate, heart rate up a little bit higher.
All right, two minutes down, 10 minutes to go. If you want to, feel free to increase those reps. I'm gonna remain here for the next couple of rounds. Let's go, deadlift, burpee. Five seconds, my time. If you scout up, maybe to 10 reps, you're good, still got plenty of time to rest. I guess it depends on what size your bell is. Here we go, back to those high pulls. In three, two, one, let's go. Five seconds. This is what's going down. I'm two rounds down here. I'm gonna increase my reps, okay? I'm going for 10 reps of everything this time. Ten burpee deadlifts, ten high pulls. Three, two, one, let's go. Easy peasy. <sighs> 10 seconds to go. I'm going for those high pulls. If you're following my lead, we're at 10 reps each arm. In three, two, one, let's go. minutes down we're halfway through you know what I'm thinking one more round of 10 and then jumping it to 12 what do you think sound good all right let's do it stick with that 10 let's go one deadlift one burpee
We got plenty of time for two more after this. Watch, you'll see. It'll catch up with this though. High pulls coming up in 10. Sticking with those 10 reps. Set. Let's go. minutes in four minutes to go I'm gonna ramp it up 12 reps am I gonna regret this here we go in two one let's do it enough 12 seconds when I finished into those high pulls three two let's go seconds. Woo! I love it. Here we go. Final round. Three, two, one. Let's go. Finish a little early this time. Last minute here. Let's finish it up strong. In three, two, one, high pull.
guys got 10 seconds to finish. Three, two, one, and rest. If you increase your reps, you should feel like fire right now, as I do. It's always a discussion. Do you use one bell, or you go heavy, lighter, this and that? My personal preference, I built 365 workouts based on one single kettlebell. I honestly feel you can make any workout more challenging or less challenging with just one bell. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Heading into our next portion of the workout, the final portion of our workout, a little interval, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through um, the list real quick, okay? I'm not gonna spend too much time. Let me adjust this clock real quick. This is what's going down. We're gonna go push press left and right, okay? So you rack that bell up from here, you a little dip and drive. Dip and drive. You know what? Let's get right into this. I'll go over the movements within that 15 seconds of rest. I don't wanna to waste too much time. There's already been too much time wasted. Let's get this thing going. Push press this left hand side in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Dip, drive, dip, drive. Use those legs. Come on, 15 seconds. Not a squat, it's a dip. Lock it out. Three, two, and one. Next up, goblet squat to a pullover. I want you to hold that bell by the ball. You squat down, get it up over your head, and pull back. Squat down, up over your head, and pull back. You ready? Let's go. Squat down, over your head, and pull. Squat down, up, and over. Those elbows bent. Try not to straighten it out at the top. Nice. All right. Bells down. We're going to push presses right here side. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's rack it up. Three, two, go. Dip, drive. Dip, drive. with it. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. I'm giving you the option here with or without a bell. We're just gonna hold that low squat position, okay? With or without a bell, it's up to you. We start in three, two, one, just hold. Chest is tall and proud regardless of where you are. Keep it nice and tight. Breathe. Come on, get comfortable here. Pull that belly button to the spine. We're halfway through. Don't let that bell pull you forward. If you're shaking like the leaf, that's good. Pry those knees apart. Three, two, one. We're going to the floor. Bell down like this, okay? Hands on the bell, crush push-up. If you don't feel comfortable on that bell, just get to the ground, diamond push-up, hands as narrow as possible. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way down, push away.
Come on, guys, you got this. Drop to your knees if you need to. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're gonna rack that bell up on the left hand side, okay? From here, we're gonna step back, opposite leg, and then we're gonna bring that knee up. Step back, knee up. If you're not lunging for any reason, I want you to squat and get that knee up. Let's go, rack it up here. Step back, knee up. Step back, knee up. Squeeze that oblique. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. We're going to the other side. Same thing, right side this time. Get them up. Three, two, step back, opposite leg. Get that knee up, squeeze, squeeze. Ah, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Touchdown jump squats, meaning I want you to touch the floor and then reach up on every single rep. Excuse my breath. Two, one, touch, jump. Touch, jump. Get those arms up. Squat down, reach to the floor. Load up that booty. Come on. Three, two, and one. All right, karamba. Push presses, left hand side, back to the top. Three, two, let's go. Rack, dip, drive. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest. Goblet squat pull over. I don't want you, and I apologize for not saying this last time, don't straighten your arms and then pull back down. Try to keep that soft bend. Go back and then pull. Ready? Let's go. Squat, right over, pull back. Ah. Huh. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. I want you to activate those lats on that squat. That's why, don't straighten your arms. Rely on those armpit muscles, all right? Here we go, rack it up. Right side, let's go. Dip, drive. Well, guys, that bell's light, you're going, you're repping them out. If you're heavy, you're doing what you can. Get it up overhead. Three, two, one, rest. Low squat hold, with, without a bell. I'm leaving it up to you. <sighs> woo, woo, woo. Come on, get them up. 
Let's hold. Think of a happy place. All right, breathe. I'm thinking right now, white sandy beaches, crystal clear blue water, umbrella drinks. They don't have to be frozen, just cold. You know what I mean? Here we go. In three, two, one, bell down. Shake it out. We're going to the floor. That crush push up on the bell, off the bell, whatever it is. Keep those hands nice and narrow. Work the triceps, center of that chest. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, and one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rack lunges coming up with that little knee kick. Make sure you activate that oblique. Hey, I want you to squeeze. Step back, right leg. Come on. Knee up, squeeze, exhale. Touch and move if you need to. Regain that balance. Three, two, and one. We're going to the other side. Oh, baby. Set. Let's go. Step back. Exhale. Feel the oblique working. One more rep. Nice. Touchdown jump squats. All it is is a jump squat where you're touching the floor and then you're reaching up. Sounds like a little, but it means a lot. Let's go. Seconds. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Back to the top. Final round. Push presses. Two, one. Let's go. One. 
Mm-mm-mm. Come on, let's do it. Last set of push presses. Set. Let's go. Come on, dig deep. Three, two, rest. Low squat hold with or without a bell. As this being our last round, I encourage you to hold that bell. Let's get them up. Hold. Come on guys, hang in there. Keep it tight. Chest is tall and proud. Three, two, one. Going to the floor, last set of push-ups for the day. Set. Let's go. Let's get after it. Rack it up. Set. Step back. Knee up. Oh, nice continuous pace like this. It lights you up. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Other side. Come on, we're gonna make it. Get them up. Let's do it. down, jump. Let's go. Feeling is mutual. Trust me on that. Hmm. Oh. All right, everybody. Let's cool it down. 
You guys know me. You see my shoulders? Knees, toes. Arms up high. Touch those shoulders. Knees, bent toes. Repeat. Cool, let's go one more time. Hang out at those toes. Shift your hips left to right. Just walk ourselves out. That nice, tall, plank position. Drop our hips. Come to Cobra. From here, let's rotate side to side. Look down at your ankles. From there, I want you to pull your hips back. Reach your arms forward into child's pose. Pull back, just relax. We'll pull those hips far back. Guys, come back to center. Hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips, tuck those toes, get your hips straight up, downward dog. Pedal out those legs. Gotta push your heels to the floor. Let's slowly walk your hands towards your toes. Let's hang out in this toe touch position. Shift your hips left to right. Bend your knees, slowly roll up out of it. Get your arms up to the sky, let's reach up high. Whew, and tilt side to side. <clears throat> Drop those arms, shake it loose. Fantastic job on you guys today. Way to push it. I love that Imam up top. Let me know in the comment section below, did you follow the um, increasing reps or did you remain the same? Or did you follow your own increasing reps? Let me know, comment below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more workouts like this. Until next time, my friends, put it right there.